People ask if it's Halloween or if I'm going to an event or why I'm so dressed up or what the costume is, but um, it doesn't seem to change my style at all. I don't, it doesn't affect me, so, and I, and I really, I'm not, I'm not dressing for other people, I'm dressing for myself, for the, the joy of it. I was born and raised in Los Angeles. I've always been a dreamer, a daydreamer. I've always loved, I mean, from day one, I just can remember begging to be in arts and crafts all the time, doing anything artistic and creative. I am designing dresses, I'm designing accessories, I write occasionally. Um, I blog occasionally. I also grew up, um, my parents were in the fashion industry growing up. Thanks to this dress I was born <laughs> because my, um, my mother was the buyer for Contempo Casuals in the 70s and my father was a salesman. He worked for Young Edwardian by Arpeja and um, he was selling dresses to her. So they had a business meeting and this is one of the Young Edwardian dresses. My belt is vintage, um, it's from, I bought it at a costume sale, a like costume union sale that I went to last year that was incredible. My shoes I bought at Salvation Army, or um, Goodwill actually, and they, they were never worn surprisingly and they were like six dollars and then I put my great-grandmother's shoe clips on them. My grandmother just gave me this as a gift and she said that she made it when she was younger and she's had it for years um, in storage and she said it was some kind of kit that you could buy to um, bead your own bags. A um, needlepoint bag I found in a vintage store and I actually I made this piece um, to add my own touch. My absolute favorite, I feel like it's my, it's like my Fawn's jacket. It's my good luck jacket and I've had it for years. And I, I found this dress at the, um, Fairfax flea market that's every Sunday. I got it for free because <laughs> I tried it on in the booth, um, in the little, um, Bing. vintage section and all of the buttons popped off when I put it over my head. So the woman who was selling the dress just rolled her eyes and she said, I'm never going to replace the, the buttons on that dress. It would take me a year so you can just have and it. And then my little, my capelet is from Forever 21. It was, I think like $20 at, or $14 or something like that. And um, that's the other thing about my style, I will shop anywhere, everywhere and anywhere to find something I love. Yes, this is one of my dresses and they're mostly, I, I find vintage fabrics and I'll make a fancy one-of-a-kind dress. I've made them for friends for weddings and I do um, custom orders, just one-of-a-kind um, custom order fancy dresses. And surprisingly, Delmans are usually very conservative and they made this wild pair. Um, and they're, they are, they're my favorite shoes at the moment. I, I wear this collar a lot. I throw it on anything. I'll wear it this way or <laughs> sometimes this way. Um, I bought it at a really wild store in Burbank called Junk for Joy. I just, I love these shoes. I saved up for them and bought them online when I found out they were available. Um, he made a lot of fantastic shoes for David Bowie and glam rockers mm -hmm. in the 70s. Okay. I recently bought these in Brooklyn at a vintage store in Williamsburg, but I can't remember the name of the store. And um, I always love like the harem style pants and high-waisted pants, and I liked this little detail and the buttons. I thought they were special. Um, I'm wearing my original um, vintage Sex Pistols t-shirt that's falling apart. I've painted houses in it and it's basically my art project t-shirt but sometimes I wear it out on the town so um, I love it. And this little capelet a friend gave to me as a gift. This um, 
and I just, it's shredded, it's falling apart, I leave a trail of sequins wherever I go, and I, it's just one of my favorite things in the whole world. Um, I made this dress, another one of my creations, and um, my intention was to um, make a romantic dress that, that I could wear for to go to a wedding or to go for brunch with my friends. I have this little um, disheveled sparkle um, sweater and I've had it for years and years and I put it in the dryer by accident a while ago so it became very small but I was actually more pleased with the shape. <laughs> I would say music is the most important thing in my life. Um, and I really love 1970s music. I love um, I love 1960s music, psychedelic music, rock and roll, punk. I love early 80s New York no wave. I love 1920s music, ragtime. <laughs> so it's it's a love of my life. <laughs> I feel like it's all it's kind of like part of my consciousness. I I sometimes have a hard time defining when I look at my closet and all of my clothes and shoes and accessories like what exactly is my style but I feel like it's just an extension mm -hmm. it's part of my consciousness and it's um, it's just my spirit I feel like I'm a colorful person and my clothing is colorful and um, I really I like I just like patterns and textures and, and depth and <laughs>